Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Project Hospital where last time we built ourselves a haematology lab, we changed our floor colours around a little bit and we put a bookshelf on the outside of the hospital and there it is, there's our wonderful external facing bookshelf. So well done people in the comments, well spotted indeed because yeah clearly that is not supposed to be there, that's supposed to be on the inside of the hospital in this office just here and I was going to start today off by picking up that bookshelf and moving it inside where it's supposed to to be but then I thought no I think we're going to leave that there and it could be some sort of little public library type thing albeit a very small one if we fill those two bookshelves with very good medical books about medical things I don't know skeletons and neuroscience and how to do operations and all that kind of stuff if we put loads of medical books on there people could walk past and you know, on the off chance they want to go and read a medical book they're welcome to go over and take a book and go and learn from that thing I quite like that I like that idea. So we've got a little tiny sort of public library going on of all sorts of medical books. And maybe if people do read enough books and they're inspired enough, they might go away and learn medicine. And then one day they might come back and work in our hospital. I quite like that. So we're going to leave that there. We're going to leave that right there. I mean, I'm very tempted to add some more over time. But right now, that one will do. It's got some very good books on it about medical stuff, about, you know, plasters, how to put plaster on, and, you know, how to deal with a bruise and all that kind of stuff. Really important medical stuff. However, I do feel, hang on, if we rotate back around, this office does need its bookshelf because it is lacking one. You know, while you're waiting for the printer to work, you could grab a book as well. So how about... We go into here. Hang on, if I press the right button, it would help, wouldn't it? Oh, no, that's not the right button either. Hang on a minute. I want to go into here and buy some things. There we go. Um, so where are the bookshelves, however? There it is, a bookshelf. So if we pop that on the correct side, so if we put that just there, say, there we go. We have a bookshelf on the inside of this office, which is all very good. So there we go. We've got one on the outside for the public to go and learn from, and then one on the inside to actually entertain the person who works in this office whilst they're being bored waiting for the printer to work because printers always break. So there we go. That's all that sorted. That is very good. But yeah, I didn't see that at all. I did not see that at all. So yeah, well spotted commenting people on our little sort of external bookshelf thing. I did not spot that at all. So there we go. That's all dealt with. I think today's plan is to kind of ignore this goal over here because I'm not entirely sure what that means. But I would like to, if we could, get our pharmacy set up over here somewhere. And also, I'd like to get our gift shop in. Because I quite like the idea of having a little gift shop. I do like a little shop in a hospital. So I think if we could get the pharmacy set up, maybe over here, look. So it could possibly come round the corner. So maybe, yeah, that bit can go to just there. I like that. Hang on, let's drop the walls again. That can go to there. That's okay. But yeah, if we build, I think the shop would go quite well here. So have the little shop sort of set up there and then have the pharmacy over here. What else does that department need? Hang on, which department is it? It's admin. Now, which one is the administrative department? There we go. So a pharmacy and a gift shop. Okay, that's fine. However, these are the things over here could be quite useful. A study room, a cafeteria, a service office. What's that? This room allows you to hire a manager who increases the overall efficiency of all janitors in the hospital and allows you to assign them to clean individual rooms. Ah, okay, so we can sort of micromanage our janitors if we have a service office. Okay, I think we get all of these things in. Apart from maybe... Oh, we are going to need a cleaning closet, though, aren't we, to clean this kind of admin bit over here. I think... We work on getting these in. Pharmacy is important. Gift shop is more important, I would say. And the minimum size is three by two. That is a very small gift shop. We can make it bigger than that. Um, so I think let's go to here, go to foundations. So, I mean, if we get the gift shop going in, I don't know, let's make it, let's make it eight by eight. That sounds like it should be plenty big enough for a gift shop. I mean, yeah, we don't want to make it any bigger. We don't want it 10 by 10, do we? Because then it's 5,190 minutes. Let's drop it to 8 by 8 shall we? That seems okay for a gift shop. So we'll drop that in like that. And then... Are we going to... I think we get that in now. Let's get that sorted. And then we'll put the pharmacy in kind of over here somewhere. Um, and I think we might want a big pharmacy. With many shelves full of many lovely kind of you know, medical thingamajigs going on. But let's get this done right now shall we? So what do we want to do here? I think it does need to have its own walls. And a lot of this area is quite open plan, but this bit here I feel does need to be kind of within its own wall. So let's have a little shop. We'll have a door maybe on that side and that side. We'll have two doors coming in. However, what walls would we like for a shop? I think, hang on, we're going for the admin department. 
So the admin department needs to have different walls. I think, let's go for a lovely pink. Let's go for a lovely friendly pink, shall we? I quite like that. Hang on, what does that look like in terms of the walls? Joe, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Just a solid coloured wall of pink for the little gift shop. I quite like that. That looks very good. So yeah, there we go. Draw that on. And there we go. Hang on, drop the walls back down. Draw that on. I do like in this game how the different walls are different colours on each side. Because in some games you build a wall and that's it. It's that colour on both sides. But of course that doesn't always work. It doesn't always kind of play out properly like that. So I quite like that they're different sort of, you know, the walls can be different colours on each side. That's very good. Right, flooring wise, I think let's go for, what's that? Coloured tiles. Hang on, let's have a quick look. Uh, do you know what? That might be okay. That might be okay. Pop that in. Yeah, that's okay. That sort of looks a bit sort of shoppy, doesn't it? That's okay. And then... I think if we get a door going in on that side and a door going in on that side, that's got to be a good thing. Let's have, I mean, do we have double sliding doors? How about just double, oh, hang on, metal sliding doors. <gasps> yes, that's very exciting. Hang on, so they can't be exactly in the middle because, of course, it was eight wide and these are two wide. So I thought, no, hang on, here it can because there's three, hang on, one, two, three on that side. So if we do that there... That's in the middle, isn't it? Because that's how numbers work. Math with Penge. Okay, there we go. It's got some little sort of metal sliding doors going into the shop. I would like some windows as well. So let's get some windows in. Um, how about what we have? Um, how about tall windows like that? So you can see into the shop. So you might look and think, ooh, there's a shop there. I'd like to go and buy some stuff from the shop. That looks nice. Um, yeah, okay. And then I think we need to go to here. And we need to zone out the gift shop. And now we just need to kind of click on this and see what we need to put in there. So what goes in the gift shop? Oh, this is very exciting. Balloons, flowers, fresh fruit. Of course, they need a little kind of PC type thing so that people working there can do their jobs. Magazines, t-shirts. Oh, this is very good. Okay, there's a reception desk or a counter. Counter drop-off. What does that mean? Mandatory equipment for receptions and shops. A PC is placed on a top will create a workspace. Or is that? Ah, okay. So you can either have it as a green kind of counter thing or a reception type desk. And we've got the, the sort of reception thing over here. So why don't we have, why don't we have a little sort of green one of those? So let's have, I mean, it says advice. Hang on, let's have a look. What does that actually say on the front? Uh, I can't see what it actually says. Do you know what? That's fine. What we'll do is we'll put the thing in the corner over here. So this is where you can go and buy your stuff. So we'll put that there and then we'll have a counter left like that and a counter right like that. That's good. We'll have a chair kind of coming behind like that and then they do need a PC. So there we go. Equip them with a PC. That's not where I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Hang on. Can we pick up the PC? Can we Can we move the computer? Um because I kind of want it in the middle. How do we, how do we move the computer? <laughs> how do we do that? Hang on. No, no, I want to take the computer off of the th game. Let me take the computer off. Hang on, is there a special button we have to press? Hang on, undo last change. Oh, we can't undo it further. Okay, we can pick up the chair and move the chair, but we can't pick up the PC and move the PC. <laughs> um, right, there must be a way to do it. That picks up the whole thing. I don't want to pick up the whole thing. I just want to pick up the computer and move it. Do you know what? It's fine. You can pay at this end. It's okay. And we'll have something just there. We'll put something just there that's exciting. Do you know what? Fruit juice. We'll put some fruit juice just there because uh, we're not allowed to put fruit juice there. It can't be attached to that type of object. Boo game. Um, okay, never mind. That's fine. We'll put. We'll find something else to put on there. Hang on. Can we do that now? How about... What could we have? Uh, we could... Oh, disinfectant tools. That would work well in a hospital, wouldn't it? Wash your hands, please. Very good. Okay, and we will have as well, do you know what? A notice board. We will put a notice board or two around. So we'll have one there and one there. And we'll have a couple on this side as well. So, two, so yeah, four notice boards telling people about what's going on here in the in, you know, in the hospital, all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll have a mug, possibly. Should we put a mug down? No, that's a little bit. That's where you've got to put your things if you want to buy stuff. Okay, right, so we've done that. So now back to the shop. Um, yeah, so how about then we have some flowers. There's a corner there. So we could, what can we put in the corner? What can we put there? Balloons. Balloons could go in the corners. So we'll put balloons there. 
and balloons there and balloons there. Okay, oh, hang on. Oh, they're all the same color balloons. Boo, hang on. If we make them blue, that's wonderful. Okay, and click those, make them red. Okay, yeah, I like that. Green, blue, and red balloons. We could... No, that, that's not geek cupboardy color enough, is it? I was thinking we could have geek cupboard corporate color balloons, but never mind. Right, so there we go. And then we need to get, I think, down that side. Let's get some flowers. Because that's a nice thing to have, isn't it? We'll have some flowers and some flowers. Then maybe some fresh fruit. Those notice boards are getting in the way. That's a bit unfortunate. Um... Okay, do you know what? We're going to move the notice... Oh, how do we move... Hang on. There we go. We can pick up that notice board. How about we put one outside the shop? That's a good idea. Okay, do you know what? We'll move the notice boards to outside the shop. And then we can have more things in the shop. Ah, you see. Very good. Right, so flowers. Very nice. Hang on. Can we change that to purple? Can we have... Oh, look, it changes the colour of the flowers. Okay, that's very exciting. Right, hang on. So we'll have some flower shelves across there with some red flowers. How much are these? 109 each. That's absolutely fine. That's not a problem at all. Okay, so, oh, hang on a minute. I want to change that to white flowers, please. There we go. So four shelves of flowers. That's very nice. And then we'll have, I think, yeah, a couple of, maybe just have like a, a couple of t-shirt racks, maybe sort of facing onto the flowers like that. We'll have three t-shirt racks there. So you can go and get your souvenir I went to hospital t-shirt or whatever. <laughs> a bit weird. Um, I was kind of thinking it would just sell more kind of groceries and things, but I suppose it is a gift shop. Um, and then we've got fresh fruit. Okay, how about we put the fruit over in that corner there? So we can have a little kind of fruit corner bit there. And then we've got magazines. Very important in a hospital. Very important. So how about we have... Hang on, drop. I was just, hang on, where's the window visibility? Is it that? Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Can they vanish entirely? Just like that will do. So I think we've got the clothing going on like that. You're going to come in the doors there or the doors there. So how about we have... Okay, I've kind of... Uh, this. It's a badly designed shop. I do apologise, everybody. It's, very, it's, it's shoddily designed. Um, how about we have the magazines... Uh, maybe as you come in. Maybe one like that. Okay, do you know what we all do? Hang on, hang on. Let's move the balloons, look. Move the balloons into the corner. So you look through the window and you see the balloons. So you walk past and you think, yes, I'm going to buy some balloons because that's fun. Uh, we'll have a little signboard thing as well as you walk into the shop. Quite like that. And then we'll pick up some more magazine shelving. So we'll have a magazine thing as you walk in. Although, why can I not put that there? Does it get in the way of the balloons? Ah. It does. The balloons need a space for people to go and sort of walk up to them, which is fair, I suppose. Okay, hang on. Move the sign, put the balloons there, and then that can't go there. We'll put the sign just there. Okay, that's it's not very well organised, is it? There's quite a lot of space over here, but that's okay. You don't want it too cramped. You don't want it too cramped. You don't want to feel like they're forcing you to buy things. So, yeah, we'll have that, I think. Could we... Could we possibly... Hang on. Could we get some more magazine things... Backing on to there. Yes, we can. Okay, that's much better. So you come in through the doors. Come in that side. It's a little bit busy. Because you come in that side and there are things in the way. But that's okay. So you come in there and you go, Yep, yeah, we've got magazines. We've got balloons. We've got some magazines on the right. There's some flowers in the corner. Fresh fruit over there. Okay, I like that. That's very good. Right, we have a gift shop. Now, do we need somebody to work in the gift shop? Yes, we do. Okay, here we go. It's wonderful. Right, so we need to get one person to come here and work in the gift shop. Um, and it's going to be a gift shop vendor. It's a sort of specific type of... It's a specific type of janitor, is it, almost? It's kind of like a regular kind of staff person. Um, okay, so Daniel Lopez is... A, oh, they're janitors, but they're kind of being appointed to work in the gift shop. Okay, so a master janitor, gift shop vendor, 37%. They've got the sales banter all down. Okay, that's very good. They're quite dexterous, so they can run around the shop and do restocking really, really quickly. Um, I think you are definitely the best option. You're a little bit more expensive than the others, but hopefully the gift shop will make a huge pile of cash, because why wouldn't it? Um, so hang on, what's your thing? Uh, your rest levels decrease slower. Oh, okay, that's good, isn't it? That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, so let's pick Daniel Lopez. 
So we shall have you, please, to go on the day shift, because right now we don't have a night shift. However, Mr. Lopez, we need to change your name to somebody from our wonderful Wheel of Names. So here we go. Let's go and give the wheel a spin. And the Wheel of Names has landed on TJ Potts. So there you go, TJ Potts. You're working in the gift shop, which is all very good. However, against their name on the Wheel of Names was a little star, which means that they've kind of added something a little bit extra in the comment they made saying, please include me in your series. And I've gone to check what it is. And they've put anyone who gets the name must love potted plants. And that is very, very good indeed. So if we have a look in here, if we okay that, so there you go, TJ Potts is now managing a gift shop. I mean, living the dream right there. But if we go to here, there are many plants in pots right there. Look at that, four shelves of lovely plants. I think though we could do better. I think maybe there is space over there for another lovely plant. I think let's get one more plant in, shall we? Because who doesn't love a nice plant? Let's get one of the big ones. Well, hang on, do you want that or that? Do I quite like those? Let's have one of those, look. There we go. That is wonderful. We won't... Oh, hang on. We could put one there. We could put one there. Do you know what we are lacking, actually? We are lacking a bin. I kind of feel like we need to put a bin in this place, just in case people have, you know, anything to throw away, like receipts or whatever. We'll put that just there. There we go. So there's our gift shop, managed by the wonderful TJ Potts, which is very good. And there we go. It's all done. It's all up and running. Let's come out of this, and let's just run time on. I imagine... TJ Potts will materialise into her seat. There you go. So you're in your seat, which is very good. And um, yeah, there we go. You're just sort of having a wander about the place, looking at what's going on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't tell me you're going up. Are oh, you filling your needs? Okay, you have a need for satisfaction. You work in the gift shop. You work in the gift shop. That should be all the satisfaction you ever need. It's a wonderful place to be. And we've still got 52 and a half thousand monies left to build, you know, other things like, you know, a pharmacy and things to do with medical stuff. But we have a gift shop and that is all very wonderful indeed. Right, maybe we should now look at getting in our pharmacy. And I've been told to make the pharmacy relatively big. The only thing is I don't quite know how big it needs to be. I'm not really sure how big a pharmacy is supposed to be. But yeah, people have said the pharmacies are very, very good at making money. They will make an awful lot of cash very quickly indeed. So yeah, let's get one in. I'm thinking... Maybe we're going to put it round here like this. Could we have, because I do like a corridor, could we have a corridor kind of coming down here? Hang on. Somebody did say, if we go to here, somebody said we can use this as a kind of planning tool if we don't put the foundations down. So we can sort of plan things out. So if we had, say, I mean, there's a corridor kind of coming along from there, isn't there? Unfortunately, yeah, that's a little bit off offset from that just there which is a bit of a bother but never mind so if we had a corridor coming in like that we might be able to make the gift shop a bit bigger very exciting uh yes yeah, so if we had a corridor coming in no 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 that's two corridors like that it does say planning only actually yeah because not on foundation so a corridor coming down like that make the gift shop a teeny tiny bit bigger which is never a bad thing and then could could the pharmacy sort of go around I mean, how big does it need to be? I genuinely don't know. Hospital pharmacy sells medicine to your patients. And it's got to be a minimum of three by two. I mean, does it need to be huge? I really have no idea how big a pharmacy is supposed to be. I think, maybe, hang on, get rid of that. So obliterate that. I think the pharmacy could go like that. Put the pharmacy there. And then we've got a corridor kind of ring that way. Well, do you know what? If we're going to make things bigger, we'll make the pharmacy that big. And the gift shop can be a little bit bigger as well, which is always fun. And then down here, we could have, we could put the study room down here, possibly. Have a little bit of a study room, maybe. That'd be quite nice. We've got plenty of room for other things. And we have got the service office. We need to get that in somewhere. And a cafeteria. I mean, it's not very central, is it, the cafeteria? It's not in the middle. It would be nice if we could have the cafeteria sort of over here, maybe, rather than down here. But... I think, oh, maybe put it here. Do we put it here? Or is that going to annoy other people who are waiting? People who are waiting to have their sort of, you know, their medical needs dealt with. And they can look over here and see a load of the staff eating in a cafeteria, not actually dealing with their medical problems. That might possibly annoy them a little bit. I was just kind of thinking of trying to keep it all in one place. Unless we do put the cafeteria in the corner and just go, yeah, do you know what? That's where you go to eat now. You go down here. It would make sense for the cafeteria to be in the centre though, wouldn't it? over there. I mean, yeah, can we possibly put that over there? 
Would that make life a bit easier for everybody else if we just put a big cafeteria in the middle of the hospital? And then everyone can go and have some nice food. Or do we just cram it down into this corner? And then we've got study room. That's got to be four by three. I'm not averse to putting that down here somewhere. And then, yeah, the service office as well. Um, I mean, I think that looks okay. That, to me, looks like a big pharmacy. That looks pretty good. Is it going to get really busy? Maybe it's going to get busy. Maybe we should make it bigger. Do we make a massive pharmacy just to make sure that we can deal with all the needs? I'm not sure. Again, this is one of these things where I'm not entirely sure how big that needs to be. The game is telling us it can be teeny tiny, but I think that's going to be a terrible idea. Um, okay, however, first thing we can do before we do any of this stuff, we can go to there and we can build some foundations just there. And then we need to rotate the camera around a little bit. And we need to go back to here, get some pink walls and build some extra walls, which is very exciting. There we go. More walls going in. Then we can obliterate those walls just there which is good. Then we can get the flooring in, which is that flooring. Drop that in. Very good. Go back to here. Make the gift shop a tiny bit bigger, which is good. And then go back to this bit and we can just sort of move things around. There is a little bit more space now. There's a little bit more room. Let's push those back into the corner because that's okay. Um, hang on a minute. We can't. Well, I can't move the thing. <laughs> I can't move the thing. I can't move that one. Not quite sure why I'm unable to move that one. Bit weird. Okay, never mind. Um, the bin can come down like that. Is it because they're in use? Maybe because they're in use, we can't move them. Is that why? Because TJ's there working there. Um, botherations. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's fine. Uh, we can have, though, we can have in here now, we can have another, uh, another load of magazines. Like that. And we can have some more t-shirts. Where are the t-shirts? Where have they gone? Uh, t-shirts, Dan. Yay, there we go. So put that in like that. Okay, that'll do. Do you know what? We can put another magazine thing in there as well. Look now. And no, oh, Hang on, we could put them back to back. Because we can fit them in like that. Plenty of magazines. That's what you want if you're in a hospital. Yeah, okay. That will do. It's a bit bigger. We can't move that. We might have to do that in the night shift, possibly. Okay, I mean, at least that's done. At least that is done. And now I've got to dither about with how big a pharmacy needs to be. Does it need to be gargantuan? Is it supposed to be petite? I'm not entirely sure. And then where do we put the canteen cafeteria thing? Kind of, I think it should be over here, really. It should be in the centre of the hospital to make it easy for everybody to get to. But that means our admin department is going to be split up a little bit. But that might not be such a bad thing. That might not be such a bad thing. I think we put it there. Let's put it there. Maybe down here we could have our little kind of uh, whatever the other thing was. We could have maybe, yeah, the study room down here and maybe the cleaning closet as well. Sort of out the way toward the edge of the hospital, maybe. That might be quite nice. Just drop that in like that. Hang on a minute. Rotate it around. Um, yeah, so have it like that. So have a study room like that. There's a corridor and there can be you know, walls going along this side. That's OK. That's fine. And then, yeah, we could put another room here. Maybe we could have the cleaning closet over there. Just make that small. Then have the service office, kind of like that. Maybe just make that, kind of how big does that need to be? Three by two. So, again, we can have all this kind of built up. We could put the pharmacy there. And if the pharmacy does need to be huge, we could then make it bigger. We just won't fill this area in down here right now because that could end up being a little bit troublesome. So, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just, you know, leave a gap for the pharmacy to grow if we do need to make it bigger. Yeah, okay, there we go. That will do. I think that's going to be how we're going to deal with this. Is that the right thing to do? I'm not entirely sure, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Here we go. Let's spend a load of money that we probably don't really have to spend on getting all the foundations in and everything else as well. Right, so build that round there and build that round there. Okay, so now we're on 40 thousand monies. We've spent quite a bit on getting the gift shop set up and we put some flooring in. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Gift shop walls. Gift shop walls. Need to sort them out. There we go. Very good. Are the rest all done? It should be all looking good. Yeah. Okay. Right. So a pharmacy. So the pharmacy walls need to have the lovely shade of pink for the admin department. I kind of feel like maybe... Could we have them like that? Hang on. Let's Let's put the full walls on. Yeah, I like that. That looks okay. We'll do that, shall we? So like that and like that and then kind of like that on that wall there. 
And then can we have it sort of open? Can we have the pharmacy open on this? Can we have it open on that side as well, actually? Hang on. Hang on. Do we need to have it like that? Can we have an open pharmacy so you can walk, walk sort of through? So you could walk from this side through to the other side? That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? That would work. We do need some corridor walls going on. Hang on, which one did we have for that? Was it those? I think it was that type, wasn't it? So the corridor... Yeah, like that. I think, yeah, maybe we make the pharmacy a little bit more sort of open plan, possibly. We'll get our sort of corridor wall type things in there, because that makes sense. Right, there we go. And then we can take out those bits... Oh, crikey, hang on. Those bits there. So like that. So people can walk along here now, along the official corridor. We need the flooring to go in of the dark coloured tiles because this is now a different department. So there we go. And um, yeah, I think we take that wall out and you can just walk through the pharmacy. Why would you need walls around it? That's not going to help anybody. So let's get rid of those walls there. Just, you know, in the bin with you. And then we have an open plan pharmacy type thing. So that needs some floors. Let's have what's going to look nice. What's going to look nice? Some tiles might be quite good. If you're dealing with your know, pharmacy liquids and things, if you spill it, it's not going to soak into your carpets or whatever. Yeah, that might work. Uh, light tinted medium tiles. Uh, see, that doesn't look very good. That doesn't look good. The strong tint might be a bit better. Yeah, let's go for that. That looks okay. That's only 1,390 money. So we don't really need to spending. But there we go. We just did. Okay. Right. So I think the pharmacy is all ready to go in terms of its walls. So now we just need to get things in to make it do stuff. Um, okay. Three times drug shelf with drawers. So drug shelves contain drugs and medicines sold in the pharmacy. Okay. And then we've got drug shelves sold in the pharmacy. Drug shelf tall. Drug shelf tall. Okay. Right. There are many, many things. There are many things. Um, how about then we have the paying bit over here and then the rest of it can just be full of shelves of, of various sort of, you know, medicinal treatments and such. I think that sounds quite good. So let's get counter advice. We'll have a little counter that could sit just there like that. And then we'll put, I mean, yeah, do you want a card file in there just to make it look a little bit like we're Sort of, you know, referencing old things. I don't think we do. I don't think we need that at all. Let's have a very long one of these. So pharmacy desk. So we'll take that round. So we'll have that like that. A big long pharmacy desk. And then we'll just have the right bit to cap it off and the left bit to cap it off. Okay, it's not quite centred, the pharmacy. How many bits are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. Do you know what? Hang on a second. Just move everything down. That's all fine. And we'll have... Grab that bit. We'll put another bit. Another... Maybe we'll have a drop-off bit just there or something. So we've got advice and we've got drop-off. The writing on the front looks exactly the same. So there we go. We'll just put that in. So we've got two middle bits. And then we'll have... I don't know. How about actually... Can we switch that round a bit? Maybe move them like that. Put them ever so slightly further apart. And then we can have say, a couple of PCs in there. I mean, right now, we'll just have one person working in here. We'll have a couple of PCs. Um, give them the office chairs, because they're nice. Office chair and office chair. Very good. We'll have one person working in there. Right, so yeah, three drug shelf with drawers. Is that supposed to go behind here? Or are they supposed to have access to these? I'm not entirely sure how this works. I mean, do you pick up the stuff you would like to buy and take it to them and they buy it? Or do they go and find you the things themselves? Not entirely sure how this is functioning. <laughs> it sells medicine to your patients. I think they just go in and pick it up themselves. I think that's how it works. We shall see. Do you know what? We'll see when we put stuff down. It goes horribly wrong. Um, okay, so let's put down. We've got to put down some of these. So if we say, I think this is all wrong. I think this is all right. I, I kind of thought this would be where people would walk in, go to the shelves and go, yeah, I need some of that. I need some of that. I need some of that. I've got three things. You go to the front here and you say, hello, I'd like to buy these three things, please. But no, they're things being prescribed by the doctors, aren't they? So maybe this isn't kind of how it's supposed to work. Uh, do you know what? Let's get it working at a very basic level. Let's put that just there. And that, I think, means that it's a valid working. Oh, it needs three. It needs three of those. Okay. There we go. We have three of those in. 
So at a very basic level, this is working now. It's a functioning pharmacy, allegedly. Uh, it's got nothing else exciting going on. We'll put, oh yes, a little pharmacy cross can stick out from the wall. That's brilliant. Yes, we'll have two of those, please, on either side. And on the wall at the back, we shall have... Hang on a second. Why can't we put things on the wall at the back? Uh, I don't know why. We'll have a pharmacy cross there and a pharmacy cross there. Just to really hammer the point home that you're in a pharmacy. Okay, I like that. That's good. So now we need somebody to work here. So let's go to here. Um, at the moment... Oh, hang on. I've done the wrong thing. Uh, let's have one person working here right now. Uh, it's going to be a pharmacist, which is very exciting. So who do we get that's good at pharmacy work? So Susan Cole is looking pretty good. 41% pharmacy skill. Watch your thing there. Your hunger increases much faster. You have a slightly faster metabolism. So you're going to need to go and have more breaks. Or Joseph Thomas, pharmacy of 39, biochemistry of 75. That's very good. But yeah, you do not have that stat down there. And you're a little bit cheaper. You're a little bit cheaper for only 2% less pharmacy skill. And I think you'll get better at it as you go. Yeah, okay. We shall hire you, please. So you can come along and work in the pharmacy. Of course, we have to change your name because you're not going to be called Joseph Thomas unless by some yeah, incredible chance somebody called Joseph Thomas has put their name forward to be in the game and then the Wheel of Names picks Joseph Thomas, which would be an absolutely incredible event. But here we go. Let's go and spin the Wheel of Names and see who comes up. Okay, so the Wheel of Names did not land on Joseph Thomas. It landed on an even better name. Sorry if you're called Joseph Thomas, but we are going to have Kira Lemon Grab working in our pharmacy, which is all very good indeed. So there you go, Kira Lemon Grab. You are now employed in the pharmacy and we need to see how this works. So I think you're going to teleport into place. So there you go. You're immediately at your computer and you've immediately got up to go and have a little bit of, little bit of a break. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. As long as you're back down here for when people need pharmacy stuff. I think, yeah, we're going to have to change this around. I think we need a kind of front desk bit where the people go and you know, rock up here and say, hello, can I please have this prescription? Or can I please have something for a headache or whatever? And then the pharmacist goes to these shelves and finds things. I think that's what we need. I think perhaps this is way too big. Where are you going? You're going to the pharmacy. You're taking a slightly obscure route to the pharmacy, but okay. Did you see where it was? Look, we put signs up and everything. Okay, so they're just waiting. They're waiting in the pharmacy. Where is... Hang on, where... <laughs> Kira Lemongrab has immediately gone to have some food. Come on, go to your workplace. People are waiting. We have pharmacy things that need doing. Okay, so let's see how this works. So you're going to come down here. So you sit at your thing. You call this person forward. Maybe we do need a little sort of waiting area type thing. They say question mark. This person says kind of, you know, pills or whatever. And then you're going to go and pick them. Okay, right. I built this all wrong. I built this all wrong. I sort of saw it as a little sort of maybe more like a chemist rather than a pharmacy. Okay, so you're going to go here. You're going to go and find the stuff. You're going to walk through the cupboard when you found it. Very good. And then go back that way. Okay, that's fine. So there you go. You're happy. We made $20 from that little arrangement and that's all very good. Okay, yeah, that needs reworking. I wonder though, hang on. So if we click on here, we've got these here as well. So drug shelf small. So drug shelf with drawers and then drug shelf small, drug shelf small, tall and tall. So do we need, I wonder, this, is this going to work like this now? I'm not entirely sure this is going to work like this. I think the pharmacy needs to have a little bit, I think we need to move this bit, turn it round possibly. Oh, now that's a sign to a person. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we need to turn this round, I think. So have that kind of here. And then we might well need some walls along here. And then we need all the pharmacy shelves behind this desk. So people rock up at the front. They say, I need a thing from the pharmacy, please. Pharmacist gets up, goes to the right shelf, gets the thing, comes back, hands it to the person. The person pays. Everything is good. We'll put some waiting kind of chairs down here because we saw that person had to stand up and wait, and that's not very good. Um, however, we can't move that desk because it's in use. It's assigned to a person, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm not quite sure how we can get around that. Like that there also can't be moved because I assume people are using it. Maybe for now, we have to put up with that. Maybe that is how we're going to have to you know, leave it for the moment. And then when it gets to the end of the day, we'll move things around because people will go home. Yeah, okay, that's all good. Let's have a look at what's going on with the actual doctors. 
What is happening here? So you seem to be okay. You're going to the pharmacy as well. You're going to the pharmacy. You've got pork tapeworm. That sounds horrific. Ugh. <laughs> My goodness me, that you've got a parasitic flatworm living in the digestive system of humans. Pigs act as intermediate hosts when they consume fodder or water contaminated with human feces. Eating undercooked pork can cause infection. Ugh. Okay, so you've had some undercooked pork maybe, and then you've got yourself pork tapeworms. That's very grim. That's very unpleasant. Okay, there you go. Right, so what we're going to get from this. Yes, you're going to wander off to your shelves of goodies. Hang on, let's go nice and quick. You can go there. You've picked up some stuff. And you're going to pay us 320 monies. 320 monies for whatever you had to pay to treat your tapeworms. Wow. Okay, right. Yes, the pharmacy is making a lot of money. Maybe it doesn't need to be this big either, possibly. Maybe we could have made the pharmacy significantly smaller. Maybe we'll do that overnight time as well. I mean, how's everything else doing? So over here, how are you? You're leaving. Okay, you've got chronic fatigue syndrome. That is very sad. Hopefully you can sort of, you know, learn to deal with it. Um, you've got our Robert Hall has got viral tonsillitis. Okay, that sounds very unpleasant, Robert. Do you need anything from the pharmacy? If you need something from the pharmacy, we are willing to help you and you can pay us some money for it. That'd be nice. Let's keep just seeing what's happening. Are you okay? Don't know what you're doing. What are you doing now? You've got, oh, painful lymph nodes. So you're still doing some checks. You're looking in his ears, I think. You're doing an ear thing. Yeah, an ear examination. I mean, we're on 100% anyway. We're on viral tonsillitis. Um, a clinic patient is about to leave. A clinic patient hasn't been seen by a doctor for a very long time and is getting tired of waiting. Okay, we do have... Of course, we have got quite the queue of people because, yeah, this thing nearby is being renovated. Oh, yeah, thank you to all the people in the comments who pointed this out. I kind of misunderstood what that little notification means. So, yeah, at the end of the last part, a thing popped up and said, hey, um, a nearby clinic's being renovated. That means you're going to get more people through the door. And I kind of saw it as the clinic has been renovated. So there's a place down the road and it's all shiny and new. They've given it a lick of paint and, you know, modernised it all and put some lovely floors in. And I was thinking, well, why, if that place is open and it's fancy and all new, why would that mean we get more people here? But no, it means it's being renovated now. So currently there are, you know, buildy people in wearing fluorescent jackets and hard hats and that kind of stuff, doing clever, buildy, renovating, painty, electrical job things. So that's why people are coming here, because the one down the road is shut, which makes a lot of sense. OK, that's fine. That's OK. Right, hang on a minute. Let's get time moving on. I don't think we can do much about that. I don't think we can do much about you, Jessica Clark. Whereabouts are you? Um, you're sort of waiting in the loo at the moment. You're going to your chair. That's okay. Maybe a doctor will see you soon. Possibly, do we get some more doctors in? We could put some more doctor's offices over there. If people are having to wait for that length of time, maybe that's what we need to do. Um, okay, let's beat time on nice and quick. If they leave, they leave. And that's unfortunate. Oh, we've treated 15 patients per day. Okay, increase clinic patients per day to 15. Okay, so we're going to get some more people from whatever that place was. I forget, where where is it? Is it that one? Is it that one? No, one of these buttons down here is something useful. Hang on, where is it? Insurance companies. Um, yeah, so uninsured are now going to send us more people, which is good. Um, and yeah, more people are getting a bit grumpy about having to wait. Okay, yeah, maybe that is a bit of a wake-up call for us to get some more doctors in place. Okay, we'll have to think about that. We've only got $36,422 right now. I mean, really, we need to do... I know, hang on, we haven't got anything that's going to give us a big pile of money now. Oh, no, that's going to give us a huge pile of money. If we can treat 20 patients per day, we're going to get 50,000 monies. Uh, okay, the clinic is closed for patients. There were still three patients waiting. Okay, that's not good. They're all a bit grumpy. Sorry. I do apologise. Karen Lee and Mary Green and whoever the other one was. I'm, I'm genuinely very sorry. There's somebody there being treated. There's somebody there. Jessica Clark is being examined. Hang on. Can we get to the point where you're sorted? There's two people. Two people are still in with the doctors. The cleaners come in. <gasps> We've got the janitor in. Hello, Royal Ladybug. How are you? Nice of you to show up and do some cleaning. <laughs> Just, you know, on the off chance that there's something a bit dirty. It's fine. Okay. Right. So run time on. 
Of course, yeah, the day shift finishes at 8 o'clock. So we can sort of finish seeing these final people. They can you know, get their treatments and get their medicines and all that kind of stuff. That's all good. Okay, so let's see. What does this person need? Let's go and have a look. So Jessica Clark, you have bacterial tonsillitis. Ah, dear me. Dr. Pench having to deal with some very unpleasant sounding things, but that's okay. Right, so you're going to go to the pharmacy. Yes, you're going to the pharmacy. Best be a bit quick about it. Oh, you've left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Botherations, you could have gone to the pharmacy. We could have got some more money from you. Never mind. Right, so run time on. Let's get to the end of the day. And there we go. Right, so go to there. Right, these two rooms here, the doctors, had critical workload. They were properly overloaded. They were too busy. So maybe we need to get some more doctors things in. However, at the end of the day, we can now, I believe, move these things around, which is very good. So let's bring that back. Why can't we move that? <laughs> I'm very confused. Why can't we pick that up and move it? I'm very baffled by the whole thing. Do we need to unassign a person? That seems a bit of a silly thing, doesn't it? Like, why can't we... We can move the chair around. We can put the chair wherever we like. We can't move that. We can move that. We can move that around. We can't move that because it's assigned to a person. Um. Okay. How do we, how do, we do that then? How do we change that around? So I'm not entirely sure how we make that do anything. Also, we're looking at the farm. I don't want to look at the farm, so I want to look at the gift shop. Um, gift shop is missing equipment. Gift shop needs a minimum size of three by two. The gift shop does have a minimum size of three by two, game. <laughs> Are you okay? Is it because it's not there? Oh, it's because the chair wasn't there. Um, okay. Do we have to unassign you for now, I think, possibly? Because I, I want to move the furniture around, but it's not letting me do it. I'm not entirely sure how we can do this. Um, okay, hang on. What do we do there? What's a hire new staff? Uh, oh, right. There's there's a thing happening and I pressed a button and things appeared. Don't quite know what that is. Um, okay, let me jab many buttons and let's see if we can just make this kind of thing move around. There must be a way to move places where people have been assigned. I don't know why it's a complicated thing, but hang on. Let me go and jab enough buttons and you know, click enough things and somewhere something will work. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, so I think there might be two ways to handle this. Way number one is to sell the things that are not moving and then just you know buy new things to replace them. But I don't really want to shell out on a whole new kind of desk and PC thing when we don't have to because you know, I've wasted enough money anyway on flooring and other bits and bobs. Maybe we should try to save some money somewhere. So I think the other alternative is I've dezoned the gift shop. So the gift shop is no longer there. The game is then kind of going, oh, hang on a minute. You've got an employee here who is now no longer working anywhere. Sort that out. But the game is paused. So that's okay. So I think we can go to here. Then we can bring the chair back. Then we can bring that back. And then we can go to here. And we can zone out the gift shop again. And then we can click on this. And we can assign a person that we already have. Hang on, we don't need to. We don't need a hiring agency. Hang on, where's our new person? Well, no, not new. Where's Where's TJ Potts gone? TJ Potts, come back to us. <laughs> you had a wonderful name. Where are you, TJ Potts? They must be around somewhere. Hang on, is it that there? Do we ah there? There we go. We don't have to hire a new person. They can just be there. They can be reassigned from that button there. Okay, wonderful. So now I think. If we then go back to here and move time on. I mean, yeah, TJ Potts has long gone home, I think, but at least that's now all sorted. Okay, and then we have to do the same with the pharmacy over here. Although now I'm thinking the pharmacy doesn't need to be that big. I'm thinking the pharmacy does not have to be that big at all. I think that's been dealt with game. That's okay. Thank you very much. Let's clear all those notifications. There we go. Uh, oh, no, there you go. TJ Potts is, hasn't gone home. TJ Potts is here. They're just, you know, locking their screen and uh, no, clearing their browser history or whatever. Okay, right. So you're going that way. So you're going to clear off home. So I think let's try and rework this now. Let's go and sort out the pharmacy. Again, I'm a little bit kind of in the dark as to how this is supposed to work. I'm a little bit confused because I kind of thought it was more of a chemist than a pharmacy. But okay, so I think we have, unless we have just moved them down here, have that bit is where all the pharmacy shelves are. And then down here, just have this arrangement, but kind of mirrored and have a waiting area down here. That'll be okay. I think I'm going to make this too big, but do you know what? That's fun. It can be a big, vast pharmacy. We can have treatments for everything, all the things under the sun. Right. So let's get things moving around. So these things here, just move them out of the way for now. Just shifty them out of the way. That's all good. Uh, oh yeah. Hang on. Because there's a thing in use, we need to... D zone the pharmacy 
Uh, our pharmacy isn't there right now. Hang on. Does that mean we can move that around now? The pharmacy isn't valid. So, no, we still can't move it around because somebody is assigned to that. That's that's a little bit daft, isn't it? That's a little bit silly. Okay, right. Get rid of the pharmacy. Okay, so Kira Lemon Grab is now having nowhere to work. It's fine. Don't you worry. Right, so if we rotate, if we bring, if we move these bits, I can't move this. Why can't I move? Ah, there we go. Right, so put that across like that. Right, so good. We can move these things around again. So I think we have, you know, like walls sort of here and the pharmacy front can be down here. And then this can be where the actual pharmacy stuff happens. That's where all the shelves can be. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we just need to kind of move these forward a little bit. So if we just bring them forward like that, bring these forward and bring that bit forward as well. Bring the chair forward so it's linked to the computer. Bring that forward. That chair we can't move for some obscure reason. Don't know why. <laughs> oh, game. You're making this very complicated game. You're making this... I just want to move a chair. I just want to move a chair, game. I'm, it's not complicated. Can we please move a chair? Yes, of course you can move a chair. It's a chair and it's on wheels. It should be very easy to move. Um, okay, right. That's gone a bit strange then. So I think if we then click oh no we can't hang on a minute i don't know what to do with that can we just sell the item can we just sell that uh remove object yeah remove objects just in the in the bin in the bin with that object please no nope, that chair is very much stuck in place hang on if we move time on ever so slightly does that unlock the chair somehow no no it doesn't <laughs> what is happening this is just this is very fiddly isn't it i just want to move a chair um Okay, what we'll do is we will in here, uh, hang on, right, so pharmacy. So we're going to make that a pharmacy. So that's okay. So it's missing various bits and bobs. That's fine. But then if we just very quickly go to here, pick up three of these, just chuck them into the pharmacy zone for now. So go, there you go. Look, it's a valid pharmacy. Yay for us. Right. And then go back to here and then no, not that one. Hang on. Assign Kira Lemon Grab to that just there. Does that mean we can now move the chair? I think it does. Hooray, because Kira Lemon Grab has been reassigned to that chair there. Okay, that seems a very daft way around of doing things with that game. But okie doke, if that's how you've got to do it, that's how you've got to do it. Right, and now we just need to put all of these things at the back here. We're going to have ourselves a wall coming down here. So let's get a wall set up. Uh, because you don't want people running in and nicking all the lovely, profitable, medicinal treatment type of thingamajigs. Uh, yeah, so put a wall going in, kind of like, at least like that. At least, like, uh, yeah, on that side it is, isn't it? So on that side, a wall coming in like that. And then on the inside, hang on, where's the inside of that wall? On the inside of that wall, we want it to be, oh, which one did we go for? Was it that one? Uh, yes, it's that one, isn't it? To match that just there. So like that. So that's very good. I'm going to put the full walls on. Yeah, okay. That matches. That's all good. And then we want to rotate it round. The back wall is okay. So that wall is going to be coming to just there. But then we need to do this side again, which we took down not too long ago, but never mind. Right, so like that. And with the two stripes. So put that back in over there like that. Okay. Right, is everything looking okay? Right, we do need to move the pharmacy signs along a little bit. So if we could move that, hang on a minute, how do we get that sign? So move that sign over a little bit to show where it properly is now and drop the walls, grab that pharmacy sign, put it just there. Okay, that looks good, I like that. And then, yeah, that's much better. I think that looks much better. I mean, do we need to put a little corner bit in? a corner bit in just to make sure people don't run around the corner and nickel the pharmacy stuff possibly we could do that as well might be overthinking this ever so slightly but it's fine right so get the solid color in round like that that's okay we'll have a solid color there as well because this is the pharmacy bit this is the admin department and that's all pink and then on these bits yeah we need to get the wall set up like so and like so okay and then we can go to here, we can go to pharmacy, we can say, yep, all that's the pharmacy, and all that is the pharmacy as well. So it's a nice big pharmacy, and it should be working properly now. So now I think we just get some sort of, you know, chairs and stuff. People can wait over here. 
in the pharmacy. And if it's busy, there might well be a bit of a queue. So I think we get... Yeah, do you know what? That wall can change, actually. Hang on. That wall at the end there doesn't need to be the interior pharmacy wall. It can just be that wall there. Like that. Very nice. That looks much better. Uh, yeah, so let's get some waiting bench things in. So we just put... I don't know. We'll have a couple, couple at either end, like that. And then, Joe, you know let's have that, that like that. And then we'll put... Where's where's the water? I like the water thing. Where's where's the water thing? Okay, hang on. We have got things we can put on the uh, on the tables here. We'll have some papery things. That's exciting. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have some... Let's have some fruit juice on that. Oh, no, we can't put that on those, can we? For some reason. Um, okay, I think that's okay. I'd like to get a bin, if at all possible. Water dispenser, yes, please. Uh, we'll have a printer. We'll have a couple of printers. Let's have smaller ones, so they're not in the way of, like, you know, the public view. So we're not trying to peer around a printer while we're trying to talk to somebody. Um, yeah, the only thing we're lacking, then, is a bin. I'd like to put a bin just there. Although we are now lacking plants. Hang on, we've got room at the end. We can put a little plant there with nice heart-shaped leaves. And we'll put a nice sort of plant there like that. That is perfect. Okay, so the pharmacy is up and running, but now, yeah, we do need some more sort of pharmacy shelf thingamajigs, I feel. Let's put a few more of these in. So we'll have some with the shelves in like that. We'll have a whole row of those in like that. I mean, does it need to go to there and there? Can they get round? I think that's okay. And then, can we have some tall shelves without the drawers in? So just have some tall shelves like that. Again, this is very expensive, and I know we don't need to do this, but I'm good doing it anyway because it looks good. And then over here, maybe we could have some of the smaller shelves. Just kind of maybe backing on, so like that possibly. Let's have some of the smaller shelves, and then they could back on like that. There we go. I mean, what are those? Why are they slightly different? Oh, they've got the see-through. They've got the see-through bits on. We can't put them there because it's too small. Maybe. We could put one shelf of those there and one shelf of those there. They can be for you know, super rare things. They're kind of hidden around the corner. Yeah, okay, right. I'm happy with that. I like that. We have a pharmacy set up and it's wonderful. Okay, so pharmacy in, gift shop in. I mean, we've got a gift shop. It's all fine. It's all looking good. Okay, I mean, yeah, the pharmacy was quite expensive. We need to sell a lot of pharmaceutical thingamajigs to make our money back on that. But I've been reassured by lots of people, that that will make us a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be okay. However, just notice the pharmacy signs are in a bit of a silly place. Let's move them to just there. That is wonderful. Yeah, okay, right. Happy with that. Let's, I think... I mean, yeah, do we want to... Given that we saw a problem with doctors, do we want to get some more doctors in? Or was the problem just because we had a bit of a rush on more people coming in? I don't know. Do you know what? Let's, let's skip. Let's skip on till morning because we have nothing to do right now. So there we go. Time is going to fly forward. Uh, patient numbers and insurance payments are back to normal. Okay. Yep. That's kind of fine. Uh, okay. Yep. Carry on skipping then, game. There you go. Don't skip and then interrupt and don't carry on skipping. Okay. So nothing happened overnight because we are closed overnight. That's all fine. Okay. So day three. A brand new day has rolled around. So let's see if we can treat lots of people and make them healthy and happy. Okay, Frank Walker has been diagnosed with sinusitis. I mean, that's very sad for you, Frank, but at least it's been diagnosed and you're going over to the pharmacy, which is very good. So let's see our pharmacy, our you know, new look revised pharmacy in operation. Let's see how this is going to work. So here we go. You go and have a little chat with Kira Lemon Grab. You didn't really need to sit down, did you? You could have gone straight over. Tokido. doke Right, so you go and have a chat. They said, what do you want? They said, I'm here for you know, some pharmaceutical things, please. <laughs> Why else do you think I'm here? It's a pharmacy. And then they've gone to grab some stuff. And they've come back. And we've been paid. How much did we get for that? Yay, smiley faces all round. And we got $33 for that. Okay, that's okay. Not as much as we might want to actually repay the cost of building the pharmacy. But that's okay. It's better than nothing at all. And Frank is going away with treatment for his sinusitis, which is good for Frank. Okay, looks like somebody else is coming down to the pharmacy. That's very good. You're going to your workplace. But yeah, if the pharmacy is going to pick up, what? I mean, even if it gets one in every two patients coming here to pick up their prescriptions, that's got to be a good thing. 
in the long run that is going to make a good amount of cash how are we looking over here both doctors looking busy we've got what one two three four five people waiting okay okay right so it's becoming significantly busier and we only have the two doctors but we do have a pharmacy in has anybody used the gift shop would anybody like to buy a gift there's balloons you sir you look like somebody who appreciates a good balloon fraser lopez you walk past the balloons Mugata. maybe he didn't see them Maybe that's a problem. Maybe he's got a problem with his eyes and he can't see. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, nobody using the gift shop. That's a bit sad. I've got so many people coming in. So many people coming in now. Okay. Okay, right. What we need to do is, I think we need to get more doctors in. And we've got space over here. That's okay. That's why we left this kind of blank over here. So we've got some doctors across the top. We could, in theory, get three, I think three doctors rooms over here. So we can employ three new doctors. Yeah, look at this. There are so many people waiting now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people waiting. Okay, right. Pause time for a second. Oh, hang on. Don't pause time right now. Because we've also got a queue going on down here at the pharmacy as well. Still nobody using the gift shop. Sad times for the gift shop. But at least the pharmacy is doing well. Right. How much are we going to make from whatever this is that you've been given? What have you been given? You've been given a thing for 70 dollars don't know what it was but you got given a thing and you you've got chicken pox you've got chicken pox away with you you can have some antipyretics that's what you can have they're in they're around that side yeah that's it over there in the drawer yep there you go in the drawer they're in the packet which is red uh yeah so how much are you gonna pay for these this is very intriguing because yeah we're, we're okay for money but we could do with some more yay smiley faces 130 dollars that is wonderful Okay, right. That is splendid stuff. So the pharmacy is working well. But yes, we do have a gigantic queue of patients and we've only got Doctors Dave and Penge on the case helping them out. So I think pause time for now. We'll finish up for the moment. When we come back next time, we need to get three doctor surgeries in down here. So three doctor rooms, have ourselves five doctors to make sure that people aren't getting grumpy and frustrated or having to wait and all that kind of stuff. Why is that person thinking of a paper plane? Why are you thinking of a paper plane? <laughs> Is that, are you playing a game on your phone or something? You might be playing a game on your phone whilst you wait. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, we need more doctors. We need more doctors. That is where the bottleneck is now. It's over there getting the initial kind of treatment things done. Everything else is looking pretty good. You know, there's no weights over there for the x-ray machine. The pharmacy is doing well. The gift shop, hopefully somebody will go there at some point soon. Everything else ticking over nicely. But yeah, the doctors are very much overworked and probably underpaid. Sorry, you two. But uh, yeah, we'll get that sorted next time. We'll put in three lovely new doctor's rooms and then that'll help things out a great deal, I imagine. But yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out because we will finish up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Project Hospital. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. The City of Cupboard, it can be full of geeks, very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. That's interesting. Oh, stripy mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. It really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire. 